all right boys welcome back to another video swaggy here today we're going to be reacting to the chicago bears week one win over the tennessee titans 24 to 17. this was a very strange game the bears offense was absolutely non-existent they didn't score a single offensive touchdown in this game Caleb Williams completed just 14 of 29 passes for 93 yards. In terms of the running game, Swift went 10 for 30. DJ Moore had a carry for 14 yards. Uh, Velas Jones Jr. 2 for 11. Travis Homer 2 for 10. Khalil Herbert 2 for 4 did pick up a nice first down on uh, it was a fourth and uh, one, I believe. And Caleb 5 for 15, so 22 of 84. So there was no run game. The passing game was bad. It sucked because Keenan Allen did drop a touchdown, but there was also just a lot of missed throws by Caleb. He normally does make those throws, but it's just two things it's the jitters your first game but it's also the pressure if caleb had another second to throw we'd be having a much different discussion but there also was several misses i haven't looked at the film i just got done watching the full game over on nfl plus so i will make another video breaking down the film on caleb and more in depth but for now we're just going to talk about what i saw with my eyes for the first time seeing this game and that was that the offense i'm not concerned about it there's a lot of weapons i believe in shade walter and i certainly believe in caleb williams i just think the titans game Game plan and defensive performance was absolutely legendary and this is something i've been saying about the titans coming to the season is that a lot of people aren't giving them enough credit they have a completely new defense uh, they have a defensive coordinator who likes to send pressure who likes to press you they go out there of course they get kenneth murray jr they get sebastian joseph day legerius sneed quandre Diggs. jamal adams did not play in this game but he's a guy that they picked up I mean, this is a very good defense with Arden Key and Jeffrey Simmons. Uh, Tavondre Sweat was a big pickup in the draft. Do not sleep on the Titans because if you do, this is what happens. I mean, the Titans should have won this game. I, even like the biggest diehard Bears fan will probably tell you that. The reason why the Bears won this game is because of a special teams touchdown. There was a block punt and then Will Levis threw a pick six. It wasn't an ordinary pick six though. It was a third and long. He tried to make a play. Well, he tried to just throw it away. And then of course... You know, Tyreek Stephenson happened to be right there. It, it was just absolutely embarrassing. I hate the Tennessee Titans, man. They're a divisional rival of mine. But, like, this was just an absolutely ugly loss for them. They were up 17 to nothing to start this game. They were dominating, man, going into halftime. But the Bears, they stayed with it, and they found a way to win. you got to give them a lot of credit for that. In terms of everything else, I mean, yeah, the Bears did a great job containing Will Levis. He was 19 of 32 for 127 yards. I thought the biggest thing the Bears did was just confuse Levis with their pressures and their packages. They made it tough on him. And Levis, he was uncomfortable. There was a couple of nice throws he made. It wasn't all bad for Levis. I like how he used his legs for 36 yards and four carries. But Levis just, he never got in a rhythm. He never consistently got it going and it seemed like he was trying to you know, hold on to the ball to make plays because he had to it was a lot of third and longs i mean the titans they did get 16 of 82 from tony pollard and levis like i said 36 yards uh tajay spears four for 21 i mean 26 of 140 is actually very good in the nfl i mean that's that's very good statistically but for some reason i guess penalties i don't know but the, the titans just they were never comfortable in this game offensively they had some nice moments but it wasn't consistent and like calvin ridley was 3 of 50 tyler boyd 3 of 18 shiga Konkwa had that nice catch for i believe it was 17 yards um, but just two for 15 and then you know, tony pollard 12 uh, receiving yards out of the backfield the titans offense was just really just as bad as the bears offense if i'm being honest and the turnovers is the thing like yeah sure the titans had more yards but they also turned the football over twice and both of those were from levis the second one was at the end of the game him trying to make a play basically kind of throwing it up to just continue the game and hope for a miracle and then the first interception was one of the worst picks you will ever see in nfl history i mean we're talking about a guy just get tackled to throw it to the sideline and try to, to make it easier on your punter your special teams and then it ends up being picked off so i mean i don't think i've ever seen anything like that and i do like will levis i think he's going to be a good player in this league but that's just one of those plays where i mean that lost the titans the game i mean will levis absolutely lost the titans this game if he had played better they would have won like the titans should have won this game very very easily but they didn't and again give the bears credit because their defense was legit um, they brought back what nine starters i mean i think the only new starter on the bears defense is in the secondary and that's kevin byard 
who's the former uh, Titan. And by the way, guys, it's 107 a.m. and I'm on my meds right now. So please bear with me. I'm doing the best I can. But I, I just think Chicago, this was a very good week one for them because they proved to themselves that if we do nothing offensively, we don't even score a touchdown. We can, we can win games. And this Titans team is legit, man. I mean, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, but I do think they're going to be very competitive. They're going to be a pain in the ass. And they're just a team that nobody's going to want to play. So Chicago, they've got to build off of this, and I think they will. And, well, the Bears, they're getting right into it because in week two, they're going to be heading to Houston to take on the Texans. And that's a primetime game. That's an NBC on Sunday Night Football, arguably the best throwing team in the NFL. And I know a lot of people are going to hate on that. That's fine. But Stroud, with his accuracy, his ability to improvise, how good he is on third down, and then adding in Stephon Diggs, now he's got a run game, so they're more balanced. We're going to see who the Bears really are when they go on the road against the Texans. That's a big-time game for them. They also play the Lions twice this year, obviously, in the division. They play the 49ers in December. I mean, the Bears have one of the easiest schedules in football, which is why I was so high in them, saying they're going to win double-digit games. They're going to make the playoffs. They might even be a sneaky threat at the NFC North. Like, the Bears legitimately are insane there's a reason why i was saying all these good things about them they just won a game against the titans to where they didn't do anything offensively they didn't even score a touchdown i mean what does that say about them it's going to be a very good season for them because if the offense can just be average if it can just put up points and not turn the football over they're probably going to win that game and that's the thing for the bears you can say what you want about their offense but they didn't turn it over they didn't fumble the football outside of the special teams but that wasn't their offense and they didn't throw any interceptions you know caleb you can tell that i mean he is a quarterback who wants to get rid of the ball quickly he wants to be the, you know, the short type of passing game just you know, get the ball get rid of it you know two and a half seconds or less and, and that's what caleb does best that's what he did best at uh, of course usc he didn't have the best line, so they had, they had to help him out, just get rid of it quickly and, and on target. And of course, he was working with Cliff Kingsbury. But you know, overall, I'm, I'm very high in Chicago just because they have everything that you need in a team in the NFL nowadays. They've got an overall elite defense up front with Montez Sweat, Jervin Dexter Sr., Demarcus Walker. He's looking to get off to a fast start, especially after last season. It was a slow one. Linebacker Shermaine Edmonds was all over the field, made a great play on third down to be able to track down the running back and make a tackle to force a punt. TJ Edwards, and then in the secondary, showing exactly why no one's going to throw on them this season with Jalen Johnson, the best corner in the league, Jaquan Brisker, and Kyler Gordon, Tyreek Stevenson, Kevin Byer, the veteran coming over from the Titans. Jonathan Owens made a special team play, man. Shout out to him. Overall, the Bears, they've got a defense, an offense. They've got a play caller that was able to maximize Geno Smith in his time in Seattle. Now he's got Caleb. It's going to be a lot of you know, ups and downs, of course, for the rookie quarterback. But the weapons, DeAndre Swift, the offensive line, I don't think played that great. Hopefully it can bounce back because that's going to be, I think, the biggest thing for the Bears is how well they can protect Caleb. He looked uncomfortable, but a lot of it was just the pressure that the Titans front was putting on him.